Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you of another 10.69.1 drive. We are on our way up to uh, Asheville this morning, doing a bunch of tests. Um, Onyx is my co-pilot in the back. You might see him show up in the mirror occasionally. Uh, you might see him uh, here and wide in the back. Uh, he is going to be our co-pilot today. We are. Yeah, I'm just gonna see how this does. Um, and I have never done this route yet uh, with 10.69.1. Um, just so you're aware, if you've watched a previous video, I've taken off the little trailer ball hitch just in case that causes any weird issues. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm going up there to test all those things. We're gonna see how this works out. So yesterday, well not yesterday, before I didn't read this sign, but I think it's because I was wiping my windshield wipers, and um, I saw it right at this time, and it was really bright sun, so I just didn't see it basically. Again, good speed um, coming into this on ramp. I thought I was going to see whatever is on the road. So it has, I think the official name for it is the Occupant C Network. It's having some struggles getting onto the on ramp, getting onto the highway. It's not going up to speed. This is, um, so. While that might be more comfortable, I think, for most people, in terms of speed acceleration, it is uh, less comfortable for me, uh, because that's one of the best advantages of this vehicle, is that you can actually get up the speed on the highway, which makes me feel a lot safer, personally. Uh, I don't, my old car is like, zero to eventually. <laughs> Uh, 1999 Hyundai Accent. It probably had like a, I don't know, 13 seconds here to 60 or something. Um, and I planned ahead and I managed to do it. But there were a few times where I just had the traffic is bad and there's just no control over getting onto the highway. The car needs to use its acceleration to get onto the highway when necessary. Like that truck that passed me, not not this one, but the one in front of it. Um, it should have. Um, sped up and gotten in front of that truck. There's no reason it should have been going 55 getting onto the highway there. It should have been going the speed limit of the highway by the time it got onto the highway. But that was, this is the first version that ever do that, I believe. And if you notice, um, tell me what you think. I, a lot of you guys enjoyed the 4K footage. So that's what we have right now is it's the 4K but an ultra wide. So the ultra wide on the 12 Pro Max does not focus, and so I think the screen is still a little bit out of focus, and so that might be why it's just not too sharp. But we'll see, and we're gonna see if it stays recording the whole way. Um, I don't really know. Um, we'll, well, we're basically gonna see how it works for us. Now See, it's breaking too much for that car there. Which I don't, I don't think I've seen that behavior on the highway for a number of versions. Now this, whoa! It actually it lowered the speed down. Okay. Well, I had. Go ahead and screenshot that. I, I, 
I'm not counting it as a disengagement because I I had accidentally turned turned the wheel a little bit. It was getting over, but I accidentally had pushed the wheel a little bit too much when I was trying to hold it. Um, this is, wow, this is very smooth. That's great. Uh, right there. But um, that intersection, yeah, it um, didn't handle the traffic well, and that's just because it's transitioning between navigating autopilot and full self driving. Interesting. So that handled this very well. Like, perfectly well, actually. Well, okay, except for this. Um, because um, it saw the traffic up ahead. I don't know if it was the red light on the right or it saw the traffic up ahead. But um, regardless, it, it slowed down much sooner than it would in previous versions. Okay, well, I tried to get over, and the car wasn't confident enough to get over right away, so then it hesitated and lost its chance. We'll try again later. Okay, so I had the press accelerator. The car behind me was, go was not seeing me slow down, and it jammed on the brakes while my car should have been accelerating more to compensate for the person turning in front. Notice how it saw this red, uh, this blue truck here? It, I thought the same thing, that truck seemed like it was coming in pretty fast to that light, and there was a chance it could have ran the light or something. And so they explicitly stated in this version that it improved the ability to detect if a car was gonna run a light, and then my car would break to prevent it from being, being hit. Um, so I was clearly watching cross traffic a lot closer, which is great. Okay, so here we're trying to see how's, how is it gonna slow down here. So this weekend is Labor Day weekend and we have our um, Apple Festival. We are um, Apple country here. We have a lot of apple orchards in this area, in the mountains here. And that is, just, that is our one of our claim to fame things in Hendersonville, North Carolina, is Apple Festival. Um, now it seemed to slow a little bit better, but I'm not sure if that's because of its traffic or if that's because it slowed more for the curve. But it still hasn't changed the speed limit. Like it's, it needs to go. It, the speed limit is 20 mile an hour now, right? right as you pass this. It's 35 where I am, and it's 20 mile an hour as soon as I pass this crosswalk here. Uh, I was gonna say it was a smoother turn right here, but then it, that last jerk made it not so smooth, unfortunately. I wish it was a separate offset for highway and city driving. For city, I would have five, plus five and well actually you know I changed that the highway I would have want plus five but city I would do probably like plus two or three or something um always in this road everyone no one goes 20 mile an hour on this this section right here and so it, if you're on 20 you're holding up traffic and it can cause other issues but um I wish you could I wish you could just memorize where you increase your speed, so then it can just learn what you prefer. Now it's gonna turn on the blinker here, it wants to get over. Hey, it's squeezed right in between two cars really nicely. I wish it would just get over earlier. It does, getting over there, like, isn't it great. Um, for someone out of town, that would seem like an appropriate spot, but when you drive this so often, you should get back by the fire station. And see, so it's gonna get in here, and it needs to get in the far left lane as the correct lane. No, nope. canceling that. Okay, brake too hard, right there. And you can hear Onyx in the back scrambling around. 
So it did the right thing instead of, it knew it was a solid yellow and then slowed down for a stop because it knew it was changing it to a red light. Okay, so it's not gonna go, so I have to press the accelerator to get it to go. That was the best that's ever done that intersection. No question. The best that's ever done that. While it did have hesitation in the middle, it stayed in the correct spot in the lane. And it it made it through smoothly besides that one stop. Again, I think it's the best that's ever done it because previously it would like jerk the wheel all over the place like this. And that was by far smoother than it ever has before. Now. Again, I'm not counting that first disengagement because that, that was my fault. I hold, held the wheel a little bit too tightly um, and, and broke um, broke the wheel, if you will. Um, the only thing left that could mess this up, there's two uh, three spots, I suppose. Uh, there's left turn lanes that it's had issues detecting for some reason for the past like 10 versions. So we'll see. I'm not. I'm gonna assume it's gonna mess up again. But if it doesn't, it's going to be fantastic. So this is next turn lane right here coming up. We'll see if I have to do a disengagement. Fantastic. That's looking promising, everyone. It hasn't done, it hasn't done that good in at least three ver I, Like four versions, maybe. Like a, It's been a while. It's been many months since it's done that good right there. Um, let's see if it does the same here. See, it corrects itself. I'm gonna go re report that because that's wrong um, per se. It's it's not completely wrong, but it wasn't great. It shouldn't be almost trying to get into the turn lane and moving back over. It's like it's like I don't know where I'm going, basically. I have a feeling though, because I don't have a guide car in front of me, it's gonna mess up this next one. So here's our next one, but I'm, I'm curious. Well, see, it, it did the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do a video uh, because it shouldn't be doing that, but hey, it made it. And I gotta say, again, again. Well, okay, we have one more turn, everyone. One more turn, gotta make this turn. Well, you could use a blinker. There you go. Okay, well, that... Um, we are actually not going up to my parents, per se. We are just stopping here, and we'll stop past there later. But, um, I'm going to call that the best it's ever done. Um, that last turn was not the best it's ever done, but overall, the point is overall... For this is test route one. I have a playlist that I want. Uh, would like all you guys to go um, look back and um, if you want to skim through some of the videos, let's go sk and skim through some of the first videos because it's really quite impressive how much that's improved. That turn, like I said, was the best it's ever done. Um, that makes me really happy. Um, the fact that it's improved the the lane detection. Uh, for the those entrances there it's not perfect yet if it fixes those and goes smooth through that turn and gets off the highway better and gets this turn smooth like it'll be as good as a human and basically it has only a few areas left to improve I'm very happy with that everyone again another zero disengagement drive and the best it's ever done this drive hopefully that continues the trend I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.